morning everybody. I know the angles are going to look a little awkward to everybody, but that's because I'm filming with both cameras this morning because I wanted to be able to put this up on both channels. Hopefully this will be a 10 minute video because this is about the Christmas card exchange. I am currently up to 80 stamps. That means I can send out currently at this moment 80 people cards. How it works is y'all are going to send me a card if you want a card back. I grew up at a time where starting from Thanksgiving, I, I kid you not, my Aunt Dot was the very first card my mother would get in the mail. Once everybody got Aunt Dot's cards, everybody knew it was time to get your Christmas cards out in the mail. Aunt Dot's cards was the first one to come. And I kid you not, her card was always the most beautiful cards we ever got. I, I, I'm not kidding. Aunt Dot's cards always had glitter, um, always had a wintry Christmas scene. Now, I got these cards, and I'm sorry, the lighting really is terrible for this camera over here. Let me see if I can fix this a little bit better. But her cards were always so beautiful. And um, let's see if that helped any. Now, my light is broke, guys, so bear with me. But her cards were always so very beautiful. And um, they were always glittery and always had that winter scene. And I got this box of cards at a yard sale earlier this year for a dollar. And it reminded me of my Aunt Doc. So that's why I got them. And in one of my videos on Haunted Ramblings, that still looks awful dark. Um, you will see that I talk about, um, I'm going to take and personalize or, um, do something to even cards that are made already and do something to make them a little more personable inside to change them. Now, some of you may not want a religious card and that's fine. When you send me your card and I see that it's a cute card, it's a funny Christmas card, that's kind of what you're going to get back from me because that tells me I prefer this type of card. This is this is me. This is how I like my Christmas cards. If you send me a religious card, that's what you're going to get back from me is something like that. And what I'm talking about um, making a Christmas card that's already pre-made. Look at these envelopes. Gosh, aren't they adorable? Look at these. They are so cute. Um, getting this box full for a buck was a steal. And guys, don't feel bad about going to um, thrift stores or things like that and getting Christmas cards because, my gosh, they're expensive. And you can get some really adorable ones. I like how the uh, church is lifted up on this. And this is one of the religious ones. And it's a very pretty card. And would I say I'm going to embellish the inside of the card? You know, I see this this church out in the woods, and it, you know, I bought these. I bought these two dollars, and there's sixteen gift tags. But what I like about these tags is there are no holes in these tags. It makes them great for using to help. Um, bling up the inside of a Christmas card and this is how I'm going to do it so these all I'm just going to take them all out and what I'm after is one of those with a horse for this card here so how it works is y'all are just going to send me a card you're going to receive a card in return and I love this one with the berries. I'm going to show you. Show this camera. We've got the snowman. Oh my gosh, isn't that adorable? It's so cute. I love the little red, but what I'm after for this one is the horse. Now, I'm not using the entire one, but I'm not going to throw away this inside tag with the string because I can reuse this. So what I'm going to do is very carefully take my scissors on this fold. I'm going to fold it back 
so that it kind of lays flat and I have that fold to work with. I'm going to lay my scissors directly on that fold. I'm going to cut straight with one long snip. I'm going to have a nice straight edge. And to make that look even straighter, I have my cutter because I want to take that fold off. I'm trying to stay in the camera for you guys. I'm going to lay that on there. I'm just going to take a hair off, cut that off, trim it, and he is beautiful. Nice, well trimmed. Get rid of this. So guys, um, it's a tradition that has pretty much fallen out of, I have glue on the other side of this. Out of um, being used, people do not send Christmas cards anymore. They just don't. And it's a shame because I used to go and watch my mom because we lived out in the country. Another thing, if you're going to do homemade cards, you can get these packs at Walmart. If you can still find them, our Walmart still has them. And just reach in here. Oh, I like this, but I can't really write on it. I want a little bit bigger. Let's find one that's kind of pretty. That'll go inside here. It's not. Oh, look at this one. It has like leaves on. Let me grab it. Look at that. That's pretty. I like that. I'm going to use that. It's kind of like a pre-made paper. I don't want the whole thing. It does have some wrinkles, but I don't want the whole thing. Actually, what I can do is, you know what? It's pretty wrinkled. That's a shame. But you know what? I wonder what it would look like if I just... Have you guys ever done this with paper? Have you guys ever done this with paper? Oops. That probably wasn't a good idea for this paper. Alright, now let me cut this. I want to use this side... Let me cut this to size, guys. How many of y'all have wrinkled paper and used it? I think I want it about, like, that size. So we have the horse. I'm going to save this piece. I may want to use it later. I'm going to put this right here. You know what? Nah, nah. Let's just use this horse. We're going to put it just like this. Horse at the top corner. I'm going to put this kind of like that. And I'm going to bling it in another way. We're going to put some. There we go. Tape. Ah, that ain't going to work. Let's get the regular glue stick. Not sure why that's tearing like that. There we go. It's just tearing right off. Okay. Little spurts for this. Little spurts. Just on the corner. It's not coming off. Hold on. Pause time. Okay. I have it on there. Um, it took some doing and I had to be patient. And now I'm going to glue some tape on the back of my horse. And I think I'm going to put him more down here. And I have some red bling. Hold on. I need to pause y'all again. Sorry about that. Well, that. Okay, so I couldn't find any red bling, but. This is pretty cool. I'm going to leave it as it is. If I do find some red embellishments to go along here and here, 
I will put them on at a later date. This is what I'm talking about when I said I will embellish the inside of an already made beautiful Christmas card. And what I'm going to do is, as I get a card, I'm going to sit down with a card that I got from one of my subscribers that you guys have sent me. And I'm going to sit down and I'm going to write back to you, each and every single one of you, and personalize each card for you guys. And I love Christmas cards. I loved watching my mom go to the mailbox. We lived on the side of a hill. She'd have to go down the driveway in the snow, open the mailbox, and I would watch her pull out handfuls of Christmas cards. And they were in colorful envelopes. That's why when I see these, what did I do with the envelopes? And they're, they're these pretty pretty decorative envelopes. I love these. These are so cool. And they would be in every color, red, green, you know, just so pretty. And the cards would be glittery. And do you guys remember the old Christmas cards with Santa Claus on them and the snowman? And they were just beautiful and angels and Sometimes, depending on the person, you got funny ones or you got um, ones that were with Jesus on them or angels. And um, sometimes you'd open the card and there would be a letter inside from a relative that you only ever heard from once a year. And if you didn't hear from that person that year, you wonder, are they still alive? Are they still with us? You know, and you have to start asking other relatives, have you heard from? Has, does anybody know? And, you know, the search begins, are they still with us? And a lot of times that's how you find out that a relative that you don't see or hear from but one time a year has is no longer with you. But anyways, that's what I'm going to do. So starting today, this video is going up on both channels. Um, in the description box and my um, pinned comment is my P.O. box. Um, and you can just send it to Haunted Ramblings. P.O. box 234 Adrian. Missouri 64720 and yes that's my P.O. box um, I do go check it at least once a week um, so I love getting mail I love getting cards um, I am also looking to get little stickers or postcards or something um, to also add I do have some of these that um, I've done some of you may not have seen um, that are already made up. Some of them are themed. Some of them aren't. Um, so there's plenty of cards already done. I have more that I've already done. These are just the first set that I've gotten using this holiday photo cards. I didn't put photos in them. And they will, of course, be random. Like I said, if you want a religious card and that's what you send me, I will be sending you back a religious card. Um, if it doesn't matter to you, whatever you send me is kind of what you're going to get back. There will be some that will be getting a Jolly Mill Christmas card. I know it's hard to see in this wrapper. I'm trying to keep this as short as possible, but... It looks like a 15-minute video. That's okay. Here is the Jolly Mill card. It is blank inside. I will embellish this, but I'm going to keep the outside of this pristine. I'm not going to add to it. I picked these up when I was down at the Jolly Mill, um, but the inside will be embellished for Christmas. If you guys are going to look for things to use to make Christmas cards with, embellishing cards. These are great. There are eight gift tags for 98 cents at Walmart. Um, also, 
these window clings are from last year. If you want, I mean, they got little snowflakes, they got the tree, they got the deer. Check out some of the window clings. Fasten them down, tack them down to your cards. They are kind of puffy, but still they'll make a cute card if you're looking for cute card ideas. So guys, um, today starts the uh, Christmas card um, exchange. So like I said, I currently am at 80 stamps. Um, there's a few that I will probably have to weigh out, have them say, I'm going to take them ahead of time and check them out and make sure. I want to make sure that nobody ever has to pay extra postage for their card. So everybody, God bless y'all. Love y'all. Take care. And I'm looking forward to covering my doorways and walls with an abundance of Christmas cards and bring back this wonderful, wonderful tradition. Love y'all. Take care. Bye, guys.